so excited now. Just to the top there. So you can see the difference, this side versus this side. I've just increased a little bit of volume here. There we go. This looks beautiful. Oh. Does that look in sun? Looks good. <laughs> looks so in sun. There we go, color. Welcome to our BTS journey for So Over It Shop at Gary Street Coffee. Let's get started. Good morning. Today is Sunday and I'm vlogging already and Calvin in the backyard is going, oh my God. I've been waiting for him because the owner of Gary Street Coffee, his name is Abby, he's a true character. He's gonna give us the keys for the day. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just waiting for Calvin. Can we go now? All right, just got to 333 Gary. This is the door. We're gonna set up like a little, my makeup space at this table. And this is where we shot Ruby last time. And this is the space Calvin's gonna set up. I think we're gonna shoot one look in front of here. And I wanna shoot one look in front of this peacock. You know, it's just a good look. We'll just shoot around the space. There's a good white wall there. So we're gonna get all set up now and put some music on, get a vibe going. And yeah. Okay, today I'm doing a little bit of styling and makeup on myself. There's a local shop, so over at shop and Calvin and I have been doing a lot of shooting for them. So today we are at 333 Gary Street, which is a coffee shop. Thank you. Gotta blow my nose. We're gonna try to shoot three looks. I have one kind of crazy 80s draped look in mind and I wanna gradually build to it. The first look that we're doing is like a cool suit. I think it's like a ball main top and I'm not sure what the pants are. Maybe they're a Scotta. There's some very wild white designer pant. So I wanna start off the look really clean. I'm gonna start with a little bit of Fix Plus just on my skin as a refresher. Then I'm gonna take some Ombre Elise. So I love the smell of Fix Plus. This year I fell in love with Fix Plus, girl. All my time at MAC, I was like, that shit's hype. That doesn't even, doesn't even work. I'm a believer now in Fix Plus. Ombre Elise, Giorgio Armani 3.5. It's just a tiny bit of glow, because I can't help myself. And a little bit of the NARS hot sand illuminator, to ding Mix it together. She's healthy, she's dewy. I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of foundation on. Like, just my goal with this right now is I'm gonna do like a little bit of a slept in eye, and that's it. Now I'm just going in with some Fenty Beauty foundation. This is in the color 190. I don't wanna put a lot on. So I just did a very thin layer of that Fenty Beauty 190 all over my skin. By no means did I spot conceal. However, we're gonna go into that now. I'm gonna go into my MAC Pro Conceal and Correct palette, and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that pale pink. If you know me, I'm just gonna do my usual under eye correcting routine. So I'm going to correct, and then I'm gonna do just a little bit of concealing. I'm just concentrating this pink just where I need it just as a little lift so I don't look dead. Cause I feel dead today. I feel like quite under the weather these days. You don't know if it's the season change or my vitamins, but not feeling top notch. And now just mixing NC20 and NW20 just as a concealer. This first look, I want it to look kind of wet. I'm gonna rock with not feeling very well. And I'm gonna go into another concealer palette. I'm gonna go into NC35, and I'm about an NC15 or 20. Sweep that. Actually, I'm gonna go a little darker. It's kind of like a burnt coppery color on me. I'm gonna take my brush just turn it into more of a fan brush like this. And I'm gonna sweep it really nice and under my eye. And I'm gonna go fairly far. 
gonna wet my hair and I want this to kind of be like a kind of Kate Mossy wet androgynous suit vibe. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side now. I'm gonna take another bright concealer. I'm mixing NC15 and W10, which is just warm 10. And I'm gonna go into my inner corners now and just blending in again. So I just wanna make sure that the inside of my eye looks nice and open and awake, but there is like a smudgy factor. I'm gonna go into like NW50. Tiny amount just on my outer corner and really smudge and pull upwards. You could be fucking wasted and do this, that's all I'm saying, you know? Time to not look like a vampire anymore and add some blush. And today I'm gonna put the blush just in the apples of my cheeks. Thank God for blush, huh? So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that NW50. I'm gonna go under my eye again. Now to add just a little bit of highlight, some hot sand again. Onto the temples. A bit of this on the lid as well. It's enough highlighter to kill someone, so I think we're good. Going into subculture from MAC. So this is actually like, okay, this is one of my favorite ways of making my lips look fuller than they are. Botox has been like a really big weird Kylie Jenner trend. One thing that I'll say with that is I've been overdrawing my lips since I was fucking like, I remember being in grade seven, overdrawing my lips, and I've done it a million and one ways. You know, lots of people will overdraw up here, which is cool, but my trick is starting at the bottom, go like this, and just exaggerate. And then I stop there. Most people at this point would overdraw over here too. I'm not gonna do that, and I'm gonna follow the exact lip shape all the way down not overdrawing reason being is it's going to pull this part of my lip outwards and it's not going to look clownish because i've increased volume here so i'm going to do the same thing on the other side same principle on the upper lip so starting at the bow just to the top there so you can see the difference this side versus this side i've just increased a little bit of volume here you do not want to overline over here. Same concept. Just follow your natural lip. And I'm going to show you the difference between this side and this side. I'm just going to take a little bit of this nude mineral rich Cybernaut from MAC. I'm just going to tap that in the very center, just because it's about half a shade lighter than subculture, so it's just going to make my lips look just a touch fuller. Mmm, that really is lovely. So going into hair now, I'm just going to let my hair down, and I'm going to grab my hairbrush. I could have washed my hair today, but woo. Could have washed my hair today, but that would have taken me a year and a half. Drying it would have taken a year and a half. And honestly, with a little bit of natural grease, your hair styles really well. We're going to do a suit today. So I think I'm going to do kind of like wet hair anyway. Now I'm going to take my Kevin Murphy Fresh Hair Dry Shampoo. I'm just going to... Oh, I'm greasy. I'm just going to section little bits. So I'll take like half inch sections. Now I'm gonna work the shampoo through the roots. By the way, don't use too much dry shampoo ever because if you use this regularly, this will actually weigh down your roots and you can lose hair. So be careful, dry shampoo is amazing, but dry shampoo is also the enemy, just like makeup, just like anything else. So just be careful, that's all I'm saying, huh? Okay, just be careful. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Super Shine Moisturizing Cream from Orbe. This is just gonna add texture back into the ends of my hair. Uh, Cause I brushed it out and when you have like textured hair, it'll get a little bit frizzy. 
so it's that's nice just to add last thing I'm gonna do to groom is I'm going to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to brush my brows and set them into place just so nothing looks crazy it's nothing worse than an eyebrow being out of place and wishing that it wasn't so I'm taking a bit of my Pantene hairspray and a spoolie and I'm brushing my brows upwards just a little wind swept okay she's cute we're gonna rock with this I'm gonna put my suit on that's look one and you'll be able to see how we transition into look two very shortly so this is the first look we're doing a black and white shoot I'm wearing a Balmain 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 blazer it was a um, I think it was a collab with H&M. And then these are Escada wide leg, amazing trousers. So we're shooting this kind of cool, chill, androgynous vibe. I have this limited edition MAC Viva Glam. We just shot the first look. And just to transition into the second quickly, I'm just gonna take this color and I'm just gonna sweep it onto my lid. This is a lipstick just to create like kind of darker more lived in eye and that's all I'm gonna do transitioning into the next look that's it well, this look is kind of an all Fendi look we've got the Fendi horse skin bag we have the cool ass Fendi boots combat living living money money so good and then this is a Halston dress just a little Halston dress I'm just cleaning up I'm gonna take a bit of my foundation again I'm gonna just prime my lid we're doing a really colorful look now just taking this 190 foundation all over my lid I want to do a lilac eye and I want to use this to prime my eye I'm sure you could use a paint pot or anything like that oh, I didn't even bring a packing brush because I didn't think I was going to do this look I'm going to go into this NYX ultimate palette here I'm going to dip into the lilac shade and I'm just going to put that I'm just going to pack it right onto my lid. And honey, purple is the color of the season if you have not heard. I'm just gonna powder and see where we're at. Because this under eye nonsense is too much, I'm gonna take a bit of my warm 10 and my NC 10, mix that, and then I'm gonna just clean up whatever dark concealer was there. That's why I love cream products because they just you can just swipe on top and it's a brand new look. Like, hello. You know what? We're gonna experiment a little bit. I'm gonna dip from the purple. I'm gonna dip into this really pretty orange. And I'm gonna go kind of into the brow. And drape in there. So we've used this color, this color, and now I'm gonna take a bit of the yellow. I'm feeling whack today. And I'm gonna highlight with this here yellow under the brow and a little bit on top of the brow bone with a bigger brush. Mm, doesn't quite pack on the way you want it. Taking a harder stippling brush now. There we go. There we go. Ooh, I like that. This yellow is great. This looks beautiful. Ooh, <gasps> I'm living for this. I'm living. I'm gonna add more of this color just because subtle is not my name. It's not my game. O M to the G, ho. This looks so good. <gasps> I'm gonna spray my brush with Studio Fix. What am I thinking? I'm like, I want opacity. I want opacity. Here we go. Here we go, opacity. 
There we go, color. And for highlight now, this matte color called Show Gold. And it has like all of these like purpley, cold, pinky, gold things in it. And it's just perfect. So you do a fucking quick beat. I'm gonna spray my face and then put on more. Ooh, I'm so excited now. I might put a little orange blush on, but first some more highlighter. Oh my God. Look at that highlight. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Does that look in sun? Looks good. That <laughs> looks so in sun. And now for the finishing touch. I might, I might completely ruin this look by doing this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to take this cargo blush. This was Kitty's blush. I'm going to take a little bit of this blush and situate her like that. I love it. I never thought I would be so into tacky makeup. We're going to make this super androgynous and we're going to pull the hair all the way back. We're going to make this wet. Now I'm going to take my R & Co glossing wax. I'm going to take a fucking heaping amount. Completely slick my hair back. I get any hairspray on that painting. I'm just going to I'm just going to not. So this is look number three. I styled the Miu Miu scarf and did a full makeup look kind of inspired by that. This skirt is just like a little see-through skirt that my friend Joanne gave me and I'm wearing like stripper shoes and like a high-waisted bathing suit bottom. And then finally, we've got the Dior pink purse. And I just love this outfit. It's just a mishmash of pink and purple and blue. And my eye look is a mishmash of that too. These earrings. These were my great grandmother Ray's and I'm named after her. So pretty suiting. She was pretty crazy. She had wild style. Okay, we are all done. Got lots of cleaning to do in here. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Calvin's to my left, he doesn't want to say hi, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed all of the transitions, all of the makeup looks, all of the fun that we had shooting today. I had a real good time. We'll bring you along into the next one. See ya.